Hello everyone and welcome to today's stream, today being a deliciously very sunny Tuesday somewhere in the world, probably not over there and definitely not over here. It was sunny but now it's become overcast and probably it will rain eventually. So it's not, you know, a sunny uh Tuesday here, but it is somewhere in the world, and because it is a sunny Tuesday somewhere in the world, let's all celebrate that fact. Although most ha other half of the world is nearing winter time, so it might not be sunny over there. But hey, over here in the southern hemisphere, it might be sunny. Nonetheless, welcome to the stream, all of you good boys, good girls, ladies and gentlemen. Friends and newcomers alike. My name is Douglas, and today we're gonna be playing some more XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Except that today we regret playing the game in Iron Man mode because I learned that I'm am awful at making good at making decisions of any kind. <clears throat> And considering that I have created most of my friends and viewers into the into the game, and most of them have managed to die because of my poor my poor man, uh, soldier management. Well, it would have been better if we could reload the failed missions and try again, but unfortunately, that is not a thing. And also, hello there, the cuddly wolf. You said that it's sunny here in Sweden, but cold AF. Oh boy. True that. There are some places that is extremely sunny, but cold. Not over here though. But anyway, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, cuddly wolf? Arego says uh, you're dying of the heat here, Doug. Help. I'm sorry, Rigor, there is very little I can do about the heat other than promise you that if you buy a couple bottles of water, preferably cold, and drink them up, it might help. So it's not a whole gigantic promise when I'm saying that it, if you do something, you might do something else. But eh, give it a go. Who knows? And also, the cuddly wolf said, by the way, I really love your comic heart. Keep up the good work and nice to hang out here and chill. Literally. I'm doing good and how are you? Ah, First of all, thank you so very much for the kind words. I really, really super duper appreciate that you guys are, first of all, proving of my comics and second of all, enjoying it. But thank you so very much. And also, I'm doing quite alright. I woke up a little bit over an hour ago. Got me some some morning breakfast. And I'm getting ready to keep badly and poorly managing our little alien contention shenanigans. We will tr go and try to fight off the aliens, but we will also have to be very careful not to die. And also try to redo and rescue some things throughout the, the, the days. We have tried to do many other things, but we fail horribly at them, at all of them. Oh, I do not need supplies to make the exo suit. That is good to know. Maybe I'll do this. <clears throat> or a ranger, perhaps. Or uh, Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as some other sort of grim gear. Just give the Speaking of which, started, engineering can can build, but they can't upgrade anything else because we lack the supplies. Like in the old days. 
Always on edge, ready for a fight on a moment's notice. Certainly keeps you on your toes. Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in Western Europe have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. So if I investigate for 7 days, I'll get a chance to do a guerrilla op. Which is fun and all, but there's other shit I gotta do. By the way, I think my computer might have some problem with loading shenanigans, because... Your efforts have become well known to the people of this world. It <laughs> hasn't loaded any textures in the game. I'm afraid it might be like... Well, of what might be happening because... Avenger plotting new course. A couple weeks ago, I think... Ah, it's starting to load up. My hard disk drive failed for no reason and pretty randomly, so... I'm afraid if other things in my computer might be might be breaking apart fire axes give me scientists hmm and gang warfare it will give me some guerrilla ops and we will be close aha it's loaded Avenger plotting no new god damn it I keep misclicking this freaking game and Rego, you said that your comics are amazing, Doug. Why, well, thank you. And you say, but back to the game, don't let them probe you today. Sure thing, I will try and not let your butt or, and or your Avenger body be probed by these feisty aliens with long fingers, prime for probing. Now let's try... Yay! Chosen sabotage. The research labs were damaged during the recent acts of sabotage. Our research has been delayed by seven days. The chosen aren't afraid to resort to sabotage tactics if it means slowing down our efforts. We need to work to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us. Well then. Power relay now operational. More power, new staff slot available, and more shenanigans. Okay, let's keep. Let's go back at it. So now we have power to do lots of things. So I was planning to put in a workshop in here and then the infirmary here or here. But I also need to have the... to build the shadow chamber. So where in the world will I do that? By the way, I wanted to do the workshop because I can build gremlin drones to man the other facilities. But that might be kind of... That might not be a good idea. Uh, training center, establish stronger bonds with their fellow soldiers. Infirmary is certainly needed, one would argue, more than a workshop. Let's build the infirmary first. Where will I build it though? I think this is the best place to build it, unfortunately. Oh boy, 20 days, that's gonna take forever. My oh my. Well, never mind then. I guess the construction can wait. We need this infirmary right now. Yes, build it fast. We need our soldiers to be healed. Because look at that. We have... How many wounded we have? Oh, just two now. Well, that's bad. I thought I had more. I definitely had more before. 
And Cuddly Wolf said, what is this game about? Never played it. Really, but you know it's about aliens. Regu said that it's saving the world in a nutshell. Um, XCOM 2 is more of a management game. Where... Well, you know. You try to divide your supplies and spread it out uh, along the world. Ooh, experimental heavy weapon. I'm well, not gonna do that. It's about spreading our... Uh, the factions have ready proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. It's mostly about managing resources and 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 you know building up a, a base of operations to fight up the to fight off the aliens. But every now and then the aliens attacks. Oh boy, more guerrilla ops. And then we have to send soldiers on missions. Missions that I have control over and it's possibly very very difficult. Uh, alien relay operation. Supplies operation. Protected device. This gives me intel, but eh. This is, increases my scanning times, which might be bad. It gives me supply, and the difficulty is moderate, so the chance of me losing soldiers is is smaller. But there is a psionic storm. Energy signatures at the mission site suggest high level of psionic energy. Enemies present. Intel suggests a high concentration of robotic enemies at this mission site. And it gives me an engineer and all I have to do is destroy the alien relay. Maybe I'll do that instead. Neutralize the field commander. They can escape. This, I don't think there's a big time mission. Setting course Let's do that. 12, East Africa. So now, what I will do is send up soldiers. Oh boy, <laughs> Tiger looks. I mean, Stu looks so feisty with his armor and the way he walks. So now I'll get to send soldiers into the field and have them deal with the alien threat. So I have to select certain soldiers, supply them with equipment and whatnot. And then get the whole thing going. Nathan, you're tired, but let's send you. I think that having a tired soldier impacts their will, so there's a higher chance that we'll get mind controlled by the aliens. Which certainly does suck a little bit. And he has 67 aim. It would help if you had better aim. And instead of sending Rookie Rao, I'll send um, Samuel Leo. He's a sniper, so he can shoot people and thing, things from afar. And on top of that, you do have the spider suit. Allows you to grapple hook and run along faster. Uh, Theodore, maybe you're, you being the ranger, you're able to get in close. Which is good, but is also bad in case, you know, they decide to feck you up. It would be good if you had an exo suit. It will give you armor and health. Armor suit gives 
gives our soldiers the power they need to handle heavy weapons, with the durability to match. So now they are able to survive much longer in battle. And look at that, they can fire a, fr a freaking rocket. In the middle of the field. So that should do it. We have Nathan Smith, who is a grenadier. We have Theodore Clark, who is a ranger. We have Stu the Tiger, who is a specialist. Samuel Leo, who is a sniper. And Recruit Fong. <laughs> because there's nobody else to send. Rego, you said did, you did send me a Discord message, Doug, because you'd rather discuss the art thing there rather than fill up your chat. Yes, I saw it. Didn't get around to reading it, but I saw it. And also, hello there, Rain Shep. Woof, morning to you. Welcome to the stream. You said that the Exo suit are best for grenadiers. Uh, yes, it is actually. It's good for both. Truth to be told. What concerns me is that the the, the rangers they kind of run in and after they run in they can be left exposed. But sure, let's throw in the <clears throat> exosuit for Jan Nathan. Who well, now has two grenades he can launch and a rocket launcher on top of it all. Tiger, you can also bring in a med kit, being a spe specialist in the such, even though you're a combat specialist. Leo, you you take a grenade, a default old grenade. Although I think someone has a battle scanner. Yes, we need one of those. A recruit Fong. Hmm. <coughs> There's no other utility item you can bring. I am afraid. So instead of this frag grenade, let's go with a flashbang grenade. My help, who knows? It always does somehow. But instead of going with UA1 Fong as a default character, we could customize her to be a uh, a personalized soldier. So is there anybody there who would like me to create them as a XCOM soldier? In short, who, who of you wants to become a soldier in my alien fighting squad? <laughs> Let me know and I'll make it happen. But also, how are you doing today, Rain Shep? How has your more how is your morning being so far? I woke up not too long ago and I thought about what what's gonna be going on for the rest of my day slash week. There's a whole lot of uh, things in the future for me. Gonna tomorrow, um, Red Dead Redemption 2 releases finally, so I'm gonna be getting it. And since I stream in the mornings, the game will be out probably in the afternoon over here, so I'll have to go and get it later in the day, and I'll probably only be able to play it on the Saturday. So maybe, maybe we will be doing a late Saturday 
surprise stream as I go and play some Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe. <clears throat> And I also have to finish up the new comic page, which I will do. And after I'm done with that, I will uh, I'll be posting it tomorrow. My new comic is ready to begin. And also, hello, Darren Eku. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? A rain chef says that you already killed me, and also that you're tired. Oh no, why you're tired? And also. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna make Yue Fong into Wallace Green. of origin is Canada. By the way, sorry, I have a wor even worse coffee fit today. Even worse than usual. Zate of birth is more or less around Nathan's. <coughs> <coughs> Is a music loving boy. After music was pro after human music was prohibited by the aliens, <clears throat> Wallace sought to join the resistance to earn the freedom perform and listen to music to human music again even though it has nothing to do with anything because you know Wallace and Nathan and many other characters are not even humans but eh. but whatever <clears throat> so headwise what does Wallace looks like? Maybe this? With red eyes. He does have red eyes. And he has uh, ginger hair. More or less. I'll need a better hair and a better. Eh, should find out which color is the best. It has short hair, but dog damn it, it has a gigantic beard. Well, where is it though? Is Scruffy Beard the biggest beard this game has? Seriously? Don't they have this? Ah, there he is. Thick beard. And what else we have going on? <clears throat> hat! He's always wearing a hat. And that should do it. For his hand. As for his body, never really thought of a color, and I don't think we can make sort of a, a checkered pattern. It's not actually checkered. What, what color is it again? Uh, played pattern. Do they have it? Oh, would you look at that? They have it. Oh, now he looks like well, now he looks like he has a lumberjack kind of kind of clothing. How weird. <laughs> How awesomely weird. Ok, 
Okay, what else you get? To go in the full armor get up. There you go. Oh, okay. Armor's one then. With legs number. True, because you match. And. Yeah, I think that this does it. As for weapon, it's gonna be a classic dark ish weapon. Darker ish. And that should do it. Let's save him to the character pool, why not? Now, to make his chances of survival better, I should give him a better armor and whatnot, but eh. I don't think we have it. Alas. Okay, Rookie Wallace Green, please don't die. Oh, I can't. Oh no, never mind. Leo, because your your positioning and work is actually good, and the 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 more still you stand, the better. It would be good if you had this thing that increases the amount of magazine you have in your weapon. But. Not sure if that's a good move. I only have one of those. Aneki, you said that you're a Soga Leo, what? Rego, you said you can never afford the game, so you will be watching. Aneki said you're fine, how about you? Rego says that Neko has also turned into a Meowth. Aneki, you said you're a Soga Leo. And Bone says you will cry if Wallace dies, Doug. You protect him. I'll try. Alright, Shep says that you work until 11 p.m. last night. Oh boy. Bone says thick beard. Bearded. <clears throat> Beer red. Rego says you need three C's, Bone. Nakio said we all here agree that if you kill Wallace, we'll kill you. <laughs> Rego says true is normie numbers. Bone says that you're right, Ray, you're right. Rego also says if you had to manage Wallace's voice, it would make Nathan nut filling in for only a loot boy until he gets here. No need to do that. Please don't do that, in fact. Alright, this is a difficult mission, though, so there's a huge chance everybody will die very fast, very quickly, and it will not be a good time for anybody. But who knows? So, Wallace Green, your cohesion with everybody is pretty bland. In fact, your compatibility with Nathan P. Smith is pretty low for some reason. <clears throat> so, keep going your mission missions together and see what that does for you. And I think we are ready. That's enough prepping. I kind of want to take out Nathan's exosuit and give it to, 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 to Wallace to make sure he survives. Or his chance of survival is better, but... Eh. If they end up dying, we'll just consider this as the timeline where everything... Where we failed. Okay, time to begin the missions. Operation Summon Palace. Let's see how this will go. The rain chef says, Neck you, show us you no scrub. What? What? But also rain, why did you have to work until so so late? Don't you guys have more or less well defined shifts? I hope I would hope you you guys kinda did or do. Norega says Wallace dead in one shot. Like only oh boy. The bone says you're serious Doug, you will be crushed if he dies. And bones also say very please, your eyes have watered already. Well, 
I will try and, and keep Wallace Boy protected from the aliens. I can't make any promises though because this game likes to screw you over and be random as fuck. Well, you know what that means. Neutralize all enemy targets and destroy the alien transmitter relay means, <clears throat> amongst many other things, that we will have a time limit. Probably 12 turns. Which sucks. If I had my, if I, if I, if I could have, you know, enough time to go inching towards my objective, I'm sure my survivability rate would be higher. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Oh boy. We've confirmed our previous readings, Commander. Be on alert for robotic enemies moving near that position. Oh no, seven turns. That's even worse. Well, we're all fucked. Orders confirmed. On the move. Leo, you will need to move into higher ground. You cannot have you. Well, we can really have you in lower elevations, but you get bonuses if you're in higher elevations. So this. hopefully, don't come in contact with anybody. Wallace. Nathan, where can you go? Does this armor also give you more mobility? I think it might. Move, move, move. Still the tiger, Tinker. Still Tinker the tiger, rather. You will run ahead. Just like everybody else. Rolling out. And. Your door, you will also move ahead On my way. as a ranger. And Wallace, you will move in here more or less Let's close to Nathan. <clears throat> oh, ho! I have eyes on the enemy. Two big mechs. Well, wait, so it's, it's still seven turns. When does these turns go about? By the way, I think that because of the layout of this level, I will not be able to have Leo all the way back here taking pot shots at the thing, so I will need to move in closer. Wallace is gonna die. Nature is a cruel mistress. Oh you no, know, nobody's gonna die. I'm gonna be an awesome commander. I'm gonna make sure everybody stays alive. By the way, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Wait, you have sight? And everybody... And also, what is this new... new thing? Theodore, you cannot That's affirmative. run there. Nathan, you can run over there and be in half, in full cover. And other than that, there's nowhere else you can be. I will give you sight to all of them delicious boys. Here, rather, is half cover and is the possible place for you to be. The worst place for you to be. But it will give you sight to all of them, whereas that will give you sight to only some. Still, Tinker the Tiger, you could also go. Uh, well, you can go all the way around. Oh, boy, that's good. Well, you can move above. Having a drop on them from up high certainly does help. So maybe go over there. Yeah, why not? Give it a try. 
Wallace. Oh, you can't even move there. Well, if you hide there in that, that chest high wall, you will get the side. And Nathan, you can get the side if you're there. <coughs> so do that. Wallace, though, you're gonna hide behind this wall. You're gonna have sight to only one alien. But that's enough. So now everybody going to Overwatch. Theodore, you're ridiculously close. <laughs> going to Overwatch. <laughs> Why the fuck not? And now, Leo, you're gonna take a pot shot into one of them, and hopefully, it will kill this. All of them. So, who am I gonna take this shot at? The Advent Max, they have armor. And the Codex is gonna split into two, so everybody is. Well, all targets are good targets, but. Eh. Wow, weirdly enough, you have a 100% chance to hit anybody. Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, Neku, you said I'm an awesome commander. Now you started lying. I didn't, Neku. I am a good commander. Or at least I try to be. And Bowen says, only please, you hit. You tear hit your desk. You, you're an emotional boy. And Neku says, you mean you are dead, so if Wallace dies, you can be happy in eternity with him. And Bone says, wait, no, I don't want ghostly war with you, Kuro. And Neku, you said, oh, worry not, you will not have it. If your fight skills, it would be more like warming up for you, Bone. Where is your Doug one glasses? What? Is that an emote? I don't think that is an emote. Okay, go and take down the Advent Mech. Rather, the furthest one is, well, is the third. Alright. Take the third. And kill him. Or not, just do some damage. They know we're here. We have been compromised. Fuck. Goes to... Go to your door. Yay! The Codex died in a single turn. What are you gonna do now, Advent Max? Oh. They don't need to move. Shit. No, Stu, no! Fuck. What the hell were the rest of you doing? Why didn't you. Sh mm, boy. Alright, Stu, uh, Gremlin, heal yourself. Kill him off. Leo, <laughs> please do something. Yeah, Overwatch helped if they moved, but they, they didn't move. Those little cunts. I'll fire a weapon at them. See what that does. Nice. Enemy down. Wallace, you have no sight to them. And you will not have sight to them nowhere, no matter where you go. Well, in fact, you will have sight to them if you go there. So let's have Leo take a pot shot at him and have you finish him off. That's so you get some delicious experience. Awesome, Wallace. You made a thing, and you have been promoted. How do you know? Well, six turns before data turn data blast is completed. Shit. Whatever you say. Oh, you can do another gremlin heal on yourself. I'm not sure anymore now if I should gremlin heal you to make sure you're gonna be out of harm's way, or perhaps. If I should save it up for when somebody, someone inadvertently falls down and gets knocked out and gets get shit-faced. 
Well, five turns now. You boys have to start moving in. Theodore, you're the closest one. Oh, nice. There's a little rafters in here. This is a door, so we can go through the here directly to the objective. So, Leo, if you're around here, you're gonna be able to take, take a shot. So what you're gonna do, Leo, is run to where uh, Theodore Roger is. That. Of course, though. No. Move in. In stay in high cover as often as you can. Uh, Neck, you say Rain Ban emote, and Rigo says, Oh no, not the mechs. Careful of their mecha dicks. <laughs> I will be careful of their mecha dicks. Rigo, don't worry. I will keep that in mind, and I will be most careful. Mostly careful with it. With them. With those. Tiger, you can move in closer. Good to go. Be under that delicious full cover. Theodore Clark, you can move ahead. Position confirmed. Nathan, you will make a run for it. A oh, little yeah. a little small wee bit run for it. Wallace. Sadly enough, there's no full cover anywhere on the way. So either you stop short and be in half cover, or you make a run for it and be in a no smaller cover. Oh no, that's uh, actually a good way, a good place you can go. Instead of being on the right, you go to the left and be under full cover, behind full cover. Oh no, one last turn. There's more enemies in the A in the AO, whatever an AO is. Back. Orders confirmed. Go, oh, Theodore, go. Oh. Objective in range. Commander, we have a positive ID on the alien relay. Oh no. Max. Mux. Fuck. God damn it, Leo. How come you don't have a sight to the thing? Oh, you will have a sight if you go back. Weirdly enough. Or if you go there. Well, I chose poorly. I'll go More back here then. Back here. Okay, next turn you can start attacking the thing, so do it. Next turn you will start attacking the thing. In the meantime, sure or not, pistol overwatch. What that does for you. And Stu, you're grimly Oh, you're a medic. You're a medic uh a medic specialist, you can't. You cannot very well help anybody. Well, oh, you can. Can you lob a grenade up, up there? No. Well, more or less. And uh, not really. Ah, uh, an XCOM true aiming system. Why do you have to be so finicky? Well, never mind. Grenades are not gonna work. Nathan, what the hell are you? What about you with your grenade launcher? Now it doesn't reach us there either. You can run behind those boxes. They will provide you with cover. Uh, Stu, you stay there. That's a good place for you to be in at. Scanning. Overwatching. Wallace. 
You're kind of too far away, it won't even trigger your overwatch. But I don't want to move you, send you around the corners or anything else. And everybody else you go is so dangerous. There's no full covers in sight. So this is this is a predicament. Sending you over here is so fucking risky. It's risky enough that it could work, in fact, but still, it's so fucking risky. Should I send him here? Mm. And on you said it's cold, you just woke up and don't feel like doing anything, but you have to go to work. Oh man. And Aku says go to work to get money and be a sugar daddy, Yoni. And also, Guten Hap says Leroy. Leroy to you too, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, buddy? Wallace, I'm sorry, you're gonna abandon your full cover for just a wee bit. Theodore, last turn is with you. You can fire at one of them, delicious peeperino. And hope to dog the next turn they move in closer. Go, Wallace! God damn it, Wallace! <laughs> oh. In fact, though, you're the. Oh no! No! Wallace, no! Leo, fucking hell! Ah! Our soldiers are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. Well, shit. And I guess Wallace is gonna die. I'm sorry, I took. I made very bad decisions. Oh, he's suppressing, that's good. No, 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 no. Oh, he decided to walk. Up. Oh. Yay, Advent! I cannot express how happy I'm, I'm, I, I am to see you guys. Okay. Or oh no, please no more advent. More oh, come. How are they gonna deploy aliens in this underground facility? Because this, de this is definitely underground. Oh, Theodore, you're in the worst place ever. Tiger, you can use your revival protocol to remove disorientated, stunned, panicked, or unconscious on any of our boys. That is a good thing you could you could go and do. Truthfully. One year you said, but my husband plowed you before going to work. He's such a sweetheart. And then you also said, but Theodore is your dad, not Sugar Daddy, but only people are into that. <coughs> only people who are into that for the, that into that are for the money only. And Rego said that Theo is both for you. And Neku says, I know where King lives, you'll be going there soon to kill him. No, don't. Rose and Neku if he kills Theodore hit him for me once. Seriously, Stu, you can't see anybody from over there where you are. Really? Oh. <laughs> Theodore, you have a delicious grenade which you can lob. Or you can actually destroy the, the data thing. Oh, Wallace. <clears throat> Everybody's summer sweetheart. What will whatever will I do with you? Oh, 
I was lucky though, if they decided to go the extra turn to really fuck him up, they could have fucked him up so very much. Give him a heal. They didn't though. I hear you don't have range to do a whole lot. <gasps> can you still use your revival protocol? <clears throat> you can revive Nathan or Leo. I think reviving Nathan, well, reviving quote unquote Nathan is more interesting because it's closer to the action and there's a whole lot more he can do. Wallace fucking moved to full cover. God make Jesse and get him killed immediately. It makes people feel good. <laughs> oh, wouldn't it? <clears throat> I'm sure it would. Dagger, you're out of actions. That sucks. Whilst there's no place you can go where you will still be. Uh, no. Oh, and you're turning there. That's an off place to end your turn in. Nathan, what can you do first? Oh, you certainly can run around. After having run around... <clears throat> Who is the soldier that is getting a, a bonus to whatever? Well, Nathan, you can run around and get them from behind, more or less. <clears throat> this is a risky move, but flanking them might be just the edge we needed. To have things going on. And the bonus here you're getting is suppression. Nathan, you can deal damage to two robots at once. <clears throat> Theodora, you're still in the riskiest of places. <clears throat> I don't know if we should push for the objective and kill and destroy it in immediately. That's all. You know, the risk of us losing is smaller. Due to you know time ending, or if I should move you back to safety. Because honestly, all of these options are pretty good. Pretty dang good, I might say. Okay, Nathan, you do this first. What about your rocket launcher? Well, it did things, certainly. Wallace... You could still do great things with your life if you took an action this turn. But there's nothing you can do, really. You say losing. I have put a tennis ball in my mouth and I get ripped by a grumpo pup named Oni. What?
You say losing, you hear put up a tennis ball in my mouth and get whipped by a grandpa pupper named Oni. What are you talking about, Oni? What the hell? Alright, Wallace, you can move in there. Have sight to some aliens. So, how about I'm you you don't do anything this turn, but you get relocated to a much better place. The next turn you can do something better with your life. Theodore even though you could destroy the data shenanigan and help everybody, I'm extremely afraid of what it might of why it might happen if you of what might happen if you if you stay there. I kind of want to do it though. Because destroying that thing would be so good for our plans. We wouldn't have to worry about the, the data transfer, the reinforcements. It would be amazing. <clears throat> oh boy. No, I have lost way too many soldiers already. Theodore, move back. How? You're. Oh, go suck a dick. Okay, now Theodore. Oh. Well then. Yeah, now that you're in full cover. Everybody's in full cover. Oh no. Advent reinforcements. See, this is gonna get impossible to deal with now. There's at least nine enemies in there. Well, hello, Advent, please. Stu, no! Oh, he's suppressing Stu. And he's flanking Nathan now. Well, shit. Nathan, bye bye. Oh, he's suppressing Nathan. Why? Who's shooting at? Oh boy. Get me out of here! Oh nice. He missed. Oh you oh. Everybody's missing. Shit. This sucks. Who are you shooting at? Oh, side bombs, nice. Oh boy! These aliens have certainly done a, done a hacking butt fucking on me, have they not? Alright, Leo, this is risky as fuck. But throw in the battle scanner over there. Do you still have a turn? Please tell me you have a turn. Y nah. Mm. Oh, you kinda do have a turn. You could always use this turn though to reposition yourself. Oh, this fucking game. So we have no more sight to the to the objective, and throwing the the, the data transfer bot didn't didn't help it either. Stu, you are being suppressed. Theodore, not only you are being suppressed, but also in range of the side bomb, so you have to get out of there. 
Wallace, they threw a grenade in there and destroyed your cover, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to do some delicious things. Okay, so who is the, doing the suppressing? Whoa, there's true bots suppressing Theodore? Wow, ain't that a little bit of a power? Don't you guys think so? Who else has a turn? Oh, nobody else left. Oh, this is it everybody. I think I'm gonna die. Or that we're gonna fail this mission. There's absolutely no more way we can, we can make it happen. Also, hello there, Sam. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Um, Sam had a test today and it went well, but the attacker that is after us broke into your tube in the art room and destroyed your painting and President had a message delivered to her. What? What the hell? Okay, Theodore, there's a chance you're gonna take a couple pot shots. But running over there and slashing might be your best bet. Or, you know, more or less survival. So, Wallace, please hit that boy over there. Now he's no longer suppressing. Oh, he was suppressing Stu. Okay, I see. I wasn't the one who was suppressing Theodore. Theodore, there's 50% chance you're gonna miss, so maybe we shouldn't go and do that. Maybe not. In fact, now the tiger can r run around. He can give you aid protocol or start shooting down this freaking max I'll take them down one by one Not too shabby. and we will get our way our way going on eventually all right so no matter what, you have to get out of there, or else you're gonna take damage from this Psy Bomb. And the best place you can go to is another full cover, which is here. So, no matter what, you have to get out of there. Go do it. And please don't die. Yay, they missed. Nice. But look at that, we have only one more turn before the... Yay! See, it was a good thing for me to have yeah, gotten out of that. But now this robot is flanking everybody. Shit, why would you do this? No, Theodore. What the hell? 
Hey, Codex, welcome to the party. Please, all of you, stop having turns. <clears throat> I'm taking fire. There's a few more advent troops. <laughs> Boy, we are so fucked. But anyway, I'm sorry to hear so, Sam. How are you holding up after all that thing that happened? And Dan Bash says you look pretty boned there, don't I? I know I do. I couldn't be boned. The transmission signal is fading. They've almost completed the transfer. Oh, don't I know about that. that Theodore, you're burning. You're on fire. <laughs> and we have to destroy that thing in this turn. There's no more room for the dealing. I should have done this before. I didn't. Now I'm fucked. And Leo, for whatever fucking reason, you don't have sight to the transponder. So, either I send someone in the, in the fray to get sight of this freaking thing, or we lose. We straight up lose. <laughs> By the way, Dan Bashed, <laughs> welcome to the stream. Are you holding up today? All right, the best, one of the best poss uh, possibilities slash outcomes for this is to have Theodore moving here. Hopefully, it will he, he will have sight of the thing. Or over here, with his slash and dash. That's our best possibility. I will have to sacrifice Theodore. That is a sacrifice he will make willingly and knowingly. Do you have sight? Tell, fucking tell me you do have sight. God fucking damn it. You piece of fucking shit. Game. The game is the piece of shit. How in the world don't you have sight of there? That thing is right over there, you fuckface. Game. The game is a fuckface. Stu, you're the only one who can do it. I will have to put you in gigantic harm's way, but it's either you or it's nobody else. Because Wallace, he's, he's a soft boy, we can't send Wallace. Nathan, he could go. In fact, maybe Nathan is even the best choice. Better than Stu, at least. It sucks he will not have. Wait, what? No matter where I send them, they will not have sight. Is that, is that what the game is telling me? <gasps> Are you fucking shitting me all over my balls? Well... Fuck them then. Alright, let me give you a little thought. Now we can do this without losing everybody. Damn. Uh, Oni says, Rego, stop it. Stop with what? What has Re What is Rego doing? And then Bash said that you suck at XCOM, trying to find a way to get better. Anyway, seems to be losing men. Always seems to be losing men. Yeah. This game is tricky as hell. Okay, I think I have found a solution. Nathan, he can move in here. He couldn't be more exposed if he went there, but he can go over there. And we'll send a rocket, grenade, launcher, shenanigan bullshit over there. 
I don't know if these, if he can from there, that seems to be, you know, blocked by all sorts of debris and whatnot. From where you are, Nathan, can you do it? Well, no, the rocket launcher apparently has shit range, in fact. So getting closer is our only hope. What's the closest you can get? Right beside this advent troop. Would seem like a poor choice. Alright, I'm gonna take a bet. I can either go here, which I have more or less of a straight line of sight, or I can go here. Which I'm not sure if it gives me a line of sight, but it's kinda it's kinda in cover from some of these enemies, so it helps a little bit. Well, let's cross our fingers and hope for the best outcome. Please tell me I can hit the thing. Please, dog. Please tell me I can hit the thing. Oh my fucking dog, I can! Awesome! Holy shit! I can with the grenade launcher or with the rocket launcher, but since I don't have uh, since I do not know how much HP this thing has left, let's go with the rocket launcher and make sure we kill it for good. Firing rocket! Go rocket! Destruction of the relay. Yay! Alien transmission is down. Eliminate any remaining hostiles and move to evac. <laughs> oh boy, don't you know, we will not be evacuating this mission anytime soon. But at least now we have a fighting chance. If nobody else dies, and <laughs> fuck, they will die. They will have. It would die so dog them hard. There's just no way they will not die. Unless, you know, everybody, every single enemy miss their shots. We will not, someone will die, but let's hope for the best. Still, you still have a move. You can move around, reposition yourself. Right, Leo, you can you you still have a chance to take a shot. You destroy that mech, please. Enemy down. Yay! And then Bash says, "Wow, you did it! Good job, Commander. Thank you, then Bash. This is so fucking stressful. God damn it!" Dog flipping damage. All right, uh, Wallace, you have a flashbang grenade, which means you can you can make people hella bamboozled. Unfortunately, that will bamboozle poor young Nathan as well. I think. That's two enemies who will lose their turns. And then back should say, you thought flashes don't work on Max. Yeah, maybe you're right, maybe it doesn't. Alright, uh, Wallace. There's no error for your back you can go to, so... Load your gun. Hope to dog nobody tries to shoot you and start killing some patients. That advanced trooper is, mm, is in the way. Oh, that's advent purifier, even worse. But this mech, you have a higher chance to get him, so do it. What? 
Oh no, he has one hit point left. Shit. Unless, of course, you come here. It's two. Seems doable. So now I have a different array of targets. Well. Impressed yet? On reserves. But now somebody will get butt fucked. Oh shit, Wallace died. See, you guys kept, 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 you guys kept promising he would die and guess what, he did, what well, did go and die. See, are you proud of yourselves now? Are you proud of having, having gotten Wallace killed? Are you proud of yourselves? The ambassador said that you need to send him to the range. And next you said that you're sad. And only you're so sinful today. Please don't be sinful. Please be a good boy. Well behaved boy. Theodore, you're burning. Dog them. Don't burn. Instead, go into this precarious cover. That burns Collie, he killed Wallace. Yes, he did. He totally did. God damn you, Bones. On the move. Why, why did you kill Wallace? Go, Theodore. Oh, fuck, I for... Theodore has died. What do you know? I forgot that the advent purifiers fucking explode when you kill them. Why the fuck do they explode? That is not a cute enemy design game. I mean, it is, in a way. But shit. Oh boy! Boy, oh boy! <laughs> Isn't this fun? When everybody fucking dies. And when I say everybody, oh boy, I'm not talking about one, two, three characters. I'm talking literally everybody. Every single character I ever created is gonna be dead. You did what? Bone says the fuck dog, why? <laughs> the bash is so low and like you say oh my god. Bones just said dog, why? Why you do this? I didn't mean to. I forget those fucking shits explode. 
And yeah, Zony, Theodore and Wallace is dead. I hope you guys are happy. You keep telling me, don't kill them, don't kill them, then suddenly they go and die. In fact, they're the only ones who have died in this entire mission. And like you said, you killed every reason a furry come here, comes here thirsty for the dudes. Rego says Wallace died, and your Twitch stream died. And then, Doug, what have you done? I have done nothing. You guys keep telling me not to kill people and somehow they're the only ones who die crazy huh oh yeah you killed my husband you know that was good i didn't kill him Everyone. i fucking advent purifier got in the way and because the advent purifier got in the way they're moving to flank me He ended up dying. Yeah, Leo. Finally do something. Leo, the previous mission you were pretty good. You were the... Oh, you fuck face. No. Oh, what do you know? Squatty, Nathan P. Smith is no longer... Berserk. But he can also do fuck all this turn. Because this Psy Bomb is gonna explode and <clears throat> Tiger is gonna die. <clears throat> see, I didn't see anybody being like, oh no, please don't 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 let don't let Nathan die. Don't, you guys don't fucking care about Nathan. And these shits have high cover. I wish there was a way to disable this. This side bomb. And no neck, Nathan has not died. Maybe if I hurt the codex, the psi bomb will disable? It definitely will not, but what if it does? Not oh, sure, how fantastic. Oh no, Stu, he didn't die. He just got hella hurt, so did Nathan. Oh Leo, please kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. God damn it, Leo. I'm taking fire. I cannot express how much I wanna punch the walls right now. Oh, Noni says you are a widow doggo. <laughs> Sorry, Oni. And Neku says Nathan died too. You was busy playing LOL. No, he didn't. Bone says who's Nathan? Rega says J Doug just casually murdering all of us. No, I'm not. Casually murdering. I am hurt, Doug. You killed my husband. I'm widow papa now. You killed us all. My doggo soul shattered that you'd betray us like this. I did not. On Overwatch. You are blaming me, Oni, for things you do not understand. Okay, Nathan, you will move over here. Moving. Flank the bitch. Enemy eliminated. And hopefully the bitch will miss you with this turn. Yes! Nice. 
So you have one last chance to make things right. Because of course Leo missed. He was so reliable last mission, but now he's just eh, like he doesn't even care anymore. Good copy, moving on target. Okay, Nathan, you have to do this. Kill the codex. Kill it. Have you missed? I'm out of firepower over here. Oh boy, Nathan, you're gonna die. Oh no, he decided to do a Psy Bomb. Oh, okay then. Psy Bomb I can deal with. Go, Leo, please do it. Thank you. Kill confirmed. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Yay! We destroyed the mission, the alien relay, within almost twice the turns we were allotted. Two soldiers were wounded, two were killed, but we killed everybody, so we get to bring all their corpses back home. Isn't that fun? And only shush. You're not as shaken as you say you are. Plotting to destroy all we have built. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. You say that, but I know you don't mean that. You mean much, much worse. I know how you think. Oh well. But look on the bright side, Nathan still the tiger and Leo are still alive and I think Nathan even got promoted. But that's good, isn't it? Even though they're certainly shook, he would they will not be be going in any missions in the future. Well, that happened. Nonetheless, I forgot to say so, but welcome to the stream, Neku and Bones. How are you guys doing today? How's your tourist days going on so far? Nathan, you get to have the Shredder or Blast Patty or Extra Layer. An extra armor layer. No, I blast padding. I don't want to lose my soldiers. Tar uh, tiger. I get to be a field medic and heal everybody up. Leo, you got promoted. Death from above. And there's two people we gotta we gotta memorialize. One being Theodore Clark. He was a good daddy. Now he'll hang with the sky daddy. There you go, Theodore Clark. You got your memory, your 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 thing. Uh, Wallace Green, honor his sacrifice. Uh. After he died, many followed. He was universally loved and will be dearly missed, 
even though he just, this was his first mission and he already died. Poor Wallace. And okay, people will be injured for a few many days. I don't know. Hello, Commander. Well, apparently we got an engineer. I didn't even know that was a thing. A dark event countered loyalty among thieves. Eh. A Leo got a rest. New staff acquired. I can make this new staff member do all those things. Uh, they can go and fucking suck a dick. No, actually, go in there. Seven days. God damn, that's not enough. <laughs> all right, what's next? Special forces will give us a soldier if we investigate that. You know what? Normally I wouldn't do this, but I need <laughs> soldiers. The elders have nearly come to realize their vision, and so it would seem time to replenish to soldiers I have lost. And Bone says, "Why have you done this, Doug? Why have you done this?" And Bone says, "You are an emotional boy. You are an emotional boy, to be quite honest." Neko, you said you are horny, and when a certain dog that isn't here to get into your neck, you see. <laughs> but fine. Oh, Neko. I'm. I'm slightly worried. And I kinda wanna ask what the hell is a neck, you see, but. <laughs> I guess I can figure it out. A dagger says. Oh boy, Tiger, you said, oh no, Tio, poor boy. Poor boy indeed. And also, welcome to the stream, Tiger. How are you doing today? And Wallace, man, those aliens suck, don't they? And Bones says, in Bones' memory. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see that fast enough. And Neku says, who's the lucky... Rago says, Neku, who's the lucky dog? And Rain Shep, you said that you work in a stadium. How does that work, really? So you don't have a time. It's whenever they're doing something, you're called to, to, to fill in for them? Is that how it goes? The aliens scrambled the Avengers radio signal, greatly increasing all scanning times for six weeks. Oh no. Those fuck faces. Yeah, sure, whatever. The chosen are gonna do whatever it takes to get to you, Commander. Hey. Even if that means wiping out entire camps of resistance supporters. We're their only line of defense. Infirmary. Now I have two staff slots, one to increase the speed with which my soldiers heal. And one to remove negative traits such as fear of mechs and other things. Commander. The infirmary can be used to improve the recovery process of our wounded soldiers. And over time, they'll also recuperate from any negative conditions they've picked up in combat. We can also speed up the process through therapy if needed. I oh, bet your sweet tits I need this. And you can even upgrade. To instantly restore any soldier to a combat ready state. Oh boy, that's nice. But I think I'm gonna upgrade my laboratory. Laboratory facility upgraded. To have a second scientist in here to decrease research times for bigger, longer research, that is. Um, Sergeant Tom Stevens, he has a negative trait. A soldier with a negative trait can recover here to have them removed, but they will be unavailable for combat for five days during the process. Certain with multiple traits will take longer to recover. Nah. And I can have an engineer here to speed up healing rates. 
so everybody will heal up faster. Uh, uh, my dog, everybody must be incredibly tra traumatized from all this alien action that is going on. <laughs> oh, war. Why don't you ever change? So, who is this new soldier I will get? Oh, fuck you, Avatar Project. Okay. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. They made pro they made progress on the Avatar project. And a new Avatar project event is gonna happen sometimes, sometime like tomorrow perhaps. And within two more blocks we lose the game entirely. So I don't I am not in a combat ready state, but I will have to go and attack this advanced facility over there. And try to take them down. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose the game. I'm 100% gonna lose the game. Hey, now we can have another power power shenanigans. If I had the supplies, though. If I had the supplies. Who is the soldier we will get? We completed our research. Oh, in a remarkable nice. time, Commander. <laughs> remarkable time. Go suck a dick, Tiger. We got sabotaged by the aliens, and we and which added a week in our research. Ah, oh boy! On you said that your heart aches for another man, but you're not ready to move on. Nike you said, "Rego, it's a secret. Not that any of you know. Only Kim, if you remember correctly." Rego says, now you have you all interested, and Ray Shep says, it's basically that. Tiger says, oh, give you a tell code, Leonis. And Bones says, the teal died. And Bones asks, what happened to the guy, to that guy who got probed? Is he still, like, you know, being probed? Tiger, of course he is. The game decided that, you know what, every single soldier who was ever ever captured wouldn't ever go back to the field so you might you might as well go and sit on a dildo or whatever because who got captured it was tiger and then in the mission that went awfully bad uh wolf rain also got captured and maybe there was a third person who was captured as well but, you know, their butts are being probed very, 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 very much. Very much. And Aki says, quick, someone get Teos' body and put some strings in using it as a marionette so Oni is happy. Oh my dog, Neku, that's awful. <laughs> Don't say that. Psionics, codename Geller. By closely examining the aliens' his own means of harnessing and wielding psionic energy, I believe the chances are good that we'll make more than enough viable candidates to serve as psi operatives. However, with the advanced psionic capabilities we've seen from the various aliens, species in the field, it may not be enough. In preparation for this new class of soldier, I've used the ship removed from the commanders to study the technology needed to focus on divert psionic energy. As a result, I've developed psionic amplifier capable of focusing and enhancing the psionic energy that they will be treated trying to harness. Although the potential for negative side effects will be high, I foresee the possibility that our soldiers will be able to push their new powers beyond the limit of what we might consider safe. And now I can build a Psy Lab. We'll allow rookie soldiers to train as Psy operatives, substituting standard soldier training for the intense mental ordeal that will unlock their latent psionic talent. And we got the Psy MP. Oh man. With a better understanding of remote comm systems in use around the world, the cost of constructing our re resistant comm facility will be reduced by block. Nah, I have better shit to go and do again. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available to me on board the Avenger, I have to say, it's taken some getting used to. Even with the ship's dampening field, frequent turbulence and the occasional evasive maneuver make it difficult to conduct experiments of any notable sensitivity. I may have to adapt my research techniques to maintain efficiency under these conditions. Commander, 
Okay, let's make a shit a ton of autopsies, one right, at, one right after the other. Uh, <clears throat> oh, now you said bones stab you with a knife, you don't wish to live knowing your husband was killed. But dogs is responsibly of actions. Irresponsible actions only. And Neku asked, who is your new husband Oni? And Bone just said, only if you return the favor. Your husband was also killed by Doug's irresponsibility. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Early reports from the Resistance referring to <clears throat> referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shape shifting, were initially dismissed by local soul leaders who attributed the sightings of to combat stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying height up to 3 meters, the specimen currently referred to as the faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered, where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we instead see a series of malleable, chitting like structures, providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. <clears throat> the membranes in question are responsible due to Faceless's extraordinary ability to mirror form the form of a human, in recirculating key cellular combinations via an elaborate internal structure. The faceless is capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we have only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans but not other species or an inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the aliens, we cannot say at this time, says Tegan. But now I have a mimic beacon. It will generate a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. It is deployed like a grenade thrown to decide where the decoy will appear. Kinda like the balloon solid snake. An Advent Mac breakdown. These oh boy. robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. Advent has legions of these mechanized units out there helping to keep the peace. From our initial I breakdown, I have to assume the Advent mech design was in at least in, uh, was at least in part based on the alien sectopod. A similar autonomous war machine lacking biological components. As far as I can tell, the Advent variant was supposed to be less intimidating, more suited for urban pacification or peacekeeping, quote unquote. Operations conducted in the proximity to the civilian crowds. That facade only works because of the carefully disguised weapon systems in integrated throughout the machine. I don't, people, I don't think people would react so calmly if they knew about the micro missile launching systems linked to the Advent network. Running facial recognition on the crowds as a, at a microsecond intervals. Now you can make the Gremlin Mark too. It will greatly increase the hacking stat, but many special specialist abilities improve their effectiveness when the Gremlin become more advanced. And the blue screen protocol. Uh, what? Munitions capable of disabling them. Okay, so we can disable mechs if we had that. Now we can re study the resistant comms construction or these other things.
do some some autopsies. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. Well, in two days I will be done. <clears throat> and now, I have five available soldiers. Now we will have another one. Lieutenant Eduardo Diaz, specialist. Nice. Avenger no, god damn it. Avenger, no. Where are you going? Oh, okay, that is kind of where I wanted to go anyway. But before we do... Commander, our ring facility is currently idle. If we have the soldiers to spare, we should deploy them on a covert action with the resistance. Yes, I wish we could do go and do a reduced avatar project progress. Well, there is a problem that I have to send a sergeant or plus, and sergeants are really hard to come by. So I'm afraid I will be sending Marcus Speaky. Alongside some supplies to make sure nobody gets captured. Nation At this point, we've committed so many of our soldiers to conducting covert actions that we're running low on manpower for our own tactical operations. We'll need to recruit new forces if we're going to keep this up. Well, not that then. Can I confirm? No, I have. I need a soldier there. Oh, Ishan Rao, you go. Do that. My So in six days we will reduce the avatar project progress a little bit. In the meanwhile, we have two available uh, engineers. We could go and build, start building, a shadow chamber which we'll need in the Psy Lab. Problem for the Psy Lab is that we don't have supplies for anything we don't have supplies so free available engineers go do some digging and I think that that should do it for now let's see if we can find some guerrilla ops to do commander the Let aliens aren't slowing down they've already got multiple facilities operating across the globe we're running out of time commander we have word that the aliens have completed construction on a secret facility out the way in new in, in australia oh shit Oh boy. Okay, so literally anything they do right now will fuck us up because the Avatar project is one blip away from being completed <laughs> and game over being achieved. So we will have to go and engage this facility down here. Setting course for Sector 6. By the way, we don't have enough soldiers to send on this mission, but we need it. Oh boy.
Okay, Lieutenant Eduardo Diaz Specialist You're gonna be a combat hacker The Gremlin can trigger an instant scan of the area increasing the specialist side of radio substantially for one turn and revealing any hidden or disguised enemies in view Yes Stu he's injured so he can't go in this this mission. I am afraid. Um, other than that so We're gonna have a specialist, a Templar and two rookies. Oh boy. That's your consequence for killing us. You say that only as if I meant to do it. And you know I did not. Alright, let's rec re recruit a random soldier. I'm not even gonna name them. There's so, so big a chance they're gonna be dying. Not Fernando Diaz. They're definitely not a parent related to Eduardo Diaz, but. Eh. Who knows? And this project, these many many projects we have in the proving grounds are new orders, commander. Have nothing to do with anything. Items that I can build. I can make. Oh, I need thirty-five supplies to make the Gremlin Mark II. Don't have it. Don't own it. And I don't have access to the black market yet. To get this ship off the ground. And I won't let it be. And it will take me forever to make contact with them. Because I've been postponing that for forever. What? Well, time to send people to their deaths. Again. And then you said the big fat came over. Well then. Alright, Lieutenant Diaz, let's make some armor available and utility items available. Rookie Rao, you would have some mad kit, Rookie Seminova, Semiova, I don't know, Sem Semyanova, Rookie Diaz, you will have mad kits. Specialist Eduardo You are a specialist You get the spider suit Vote Some fucking how you have made it this far Good on you what is this? Fear of the Chosen. Panic when encountering a Chosen. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, recruit other Diaz or other. Or recruit Rao. Krishna Rao. We're gonna have the exosuit. And go for broke. Hopefully, we will be able to infiltrate. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> two lieutenants I mean, a lieutenant, a sergeant, and three rookies are gonna try and infiltrate an advanced facility, which is very difficult. Well, if we succeed, if we freaking succeed. The resistance has another and an, an, has a little more time in their belt for fighting off the aliens. If we fail, if we fucking fail, I will have no way to get another party ready to to do whatever. 
before the av avatar project progresses and I will inadvertently lose this campaign so I guess that within the next two hours of stream we will find out how this how all of this turns out to be oh boy and Tiger says it has to happen at some point not really we could also get a you know you won congratulations to save the earth doesn't necessarily have to be game over but if it does end up being a game over well then we know who who to blame for that all of you who said that I will blame every single one of you who said hey that if you kill this or that character I'm gonna rage and then precisely because of that you caused the game to cause this the, 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 this character should die Place X4 charges in the facility, escape the area of operations. Well then. Menace 1 5, target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated oh, position. Boy, and that's far. Charges. Momentum move available. All right. At least we're concealed, so we have some some leeway of exploring the area and getting things to do. And Bone says, "Is Doug redirecting? Is that happening for real?" And Anatru said, "Sure, sounds like redirect. I'm not redirecting. I'm just saying." That I was doing pretty good until you guys started putting pressure on me, and then I started doing very badly. Because I don't work well now. under pressure. <gasps> Advent. Shit. They're here already. I thought we would be able to go a little while longer before encountering the Advent, but no, they're here already. Feedback. What is this scanning protocol? Oh, it allows you to see further. Sure, that's what this scanning protocol is. I wonder if the scanning protocol is a thing I do once per mission or after what is the cooldown in that. And Sergeant of Vault. Choke me, Daddy Dog, with my collar, oh my dog. No, Oni, I will not do that. I'll lead the way. Krishna Rao. Where can you hide? Stepping off. Because at this point, confirmed. XCOM has became a game of hiding, hiding, hiding spots for our, our soldiers. So, I know for a fact I will not be able to get in there and get out without being seen. So I wonder if I'm better off straight up trying to kill these guys first and keep killing as I go. Because I don't know, to me that sounds like a sound strategy. 
Yep. Objetivos enemigos a la vista. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's true advent soldiers in the codex. <clears throat> sure. I have two advanced soldiers in the codex, uh, a spectre and a viper, and over somewhere else. I remember seeing more enemies. It must be somewhere. And only I would not do that. But what I will do is ask, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody is having a jolly old, good and fun Thursday so far. Also, hello there, 104. How are you doing today? How far does the level extend this way? Not too much, not too little though. Just enough. Go, yes, go, go. let's spread out my soldiers that so they can be picked off one by one. Can you really not get there without being seen? Oh boy. boy. Anyway, I'm happy. On the move. You guys. Surprising as it might be to hear it, I'm really happy. I don't know if you guys follow my Twitter, but I posted yesterday that um, the Game Grumps, they were doing a live stream. Ooh, that's the only climbing spot we have. Shit, that will make advancing a tad more challenging. Is there really gonna be... So we're really gonna be there in the only place I able to climb. Anyway, uh, yesterday the game grumps they were doing a live stream of the you know things they do live stream. Location confirmed. They were playing some Detroit Become Human because they never finished that game before. That's right. And as it happens, uh, Already there. ooh, you have a grapple. Oh boy. Gantoba. Man, that is dope. And with their and during the live stream, you know, 
people could be sending messages and whatever and I sent a message and they read it and it made me so happy that they read my message actually it was not only that they read my message but also that they they laughed at it I mean laughed as in hey this is funny let's this is funny and entertaining I'm laughing because I'm entertained and, and found this fun and man that made me so happy it was that I was able to make them smile as much as they have made me I smile this <gasps> would be subject gamma the Bob fuck is that a viper king just what we needed the fuck is that Roger that oh no Okay, feedback you can keep going, but I'm afraid Volt will not. It will stay behind if you keep moving on your own. But up until now, I guess I have seen every single unit the Advent have going on. But anyway, that's that's the end of my story. I send them a message they read it and I had and I was very 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 happy one of four says you're okay you should be doing stuff but you're not doing much only you're at work and Rago you're hungry And one of four says what you're not gonna do, what do you mean? One of four says you're okay, you should be doing stuff, but you're not doing much. And Pon says that you're dead. And double 07 gamer, welcome to the stream. You said don't feed the animals. Which animals? There's no animals in here, I don't think. And Anna True says you're doing good, slowly working on assignments that are doing in a couple of weeks. Only you said that one loud ass cicada. Arrigo says, you're no animal. One of four says, what did you write? Double seven gamer says, snake. Oh, snake. Don't die, snake. And... But yeah, we do have a king snake, and holy shit, that thing is gigantic. Fucking hell. Moving on target location. I mean... This snake is sure whatever, but its health bar sizes <laughs> premium sized. Target position now, and I'm not. Menace one five, you're near the target position. I'm not. Who knows how long they've been keeping these storage units running down here. I'm not in the least excited to go against that. That's so why I'm gonna try and keep. Sneaking, inching towards it. Volt, I'm afraid you're gonna be trapped there forever. Because these true fuck faces are not gonna move. They love the little position they're at. <coughs> One of four says RIP already asked that. And what did you send? Uh, Tiger says he did post the clip on his Twitter and in his Discord. Yes, I did. Uh, where they, they read my message was pretty much me saying something. Something silly like, ah. I, was, I always wanted to be a dog and seeing how... Seeing how supportive you are, you have been of furries. It inspired me to be a dog for real. <laughs> and they laughed. Enjoy. And I was like, ah, Oh boy. There's turrets. I forgot the turrets are a thing. Sometimes. Vote, you're kind of fucked. 
That sucked. Maybe we should make Volt, you know, walk around since this mission has no time limit. Let, let's spend several turns having Volt run around the entire facility to catch up with his his friends. That that's a door I can open. And there doesn't seem to be any any turrets or whatever in there, so I'm gonna stand here. Next turn we go in. Getting it done. Me dirijo a la posición indicada. Oh, I think they're they're moving. Very near the other guy's position, which could be very bad. I want to force this all. Oh uh, no! So you're the realist of doggos, of dogs, rather. And only you said, send booty pics of your husband, Douglas. Mm. Only, why do you keep asking me that? You know, I don't have any. And even if I had, I would not send them to you. I would rather burn them. I would burn them up. Because I'm an evil doggo. Not a friendly doggo, as people might think that, I'm, that I am. I am an evil, evil, evil doggo. Position confirmed. Oh boy. We are invading the alien facility. Location confirmed. Hopefully nobody sees us go in and then out. I have eyes on the enemy. <gasps> Shit, they're up there. Fuck. Why would you do that to me? And also Fridge Makara. Makara says so stop sneaking and fight the aliens blindly like a man. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm sure my my team of one lieutenant, one sergeant and three rookies will whoop their ass. Especially with King Cobra up here somewhere. Down here. With their magnificent true armor and how however many is that? I don't even know, but that sounds like a shit ton of hit points that they have. Like, if everybody takes a shot and everybody hits, it will not die in a turn. That's the kind of enemy I'm dealing with. And you want me to go against it? How? Oh, why don't you? Why don't you just say that? Hey, I want to see you fail. It's not very hard. But that you know, honesty is a, is a thing. Go, Eduardo, run. Yes, the scanning protocol is a one use only kind of deal. Got it covered. Fernando Diaz, you will have to go and run around like a hurricane. And hope to dog the, those advent on the roof does don't come down. <sighs> and Bone says at least he's honest. And one of says, "Oh God, you'll do love dogs even more now." Why? I have done nothing. And only you say why? Why would you do that to me? Because you are not deserving of that. On it. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself. You don't not you you're not obligated to to agree or deny. Agree or disagree is what I what I wanted to say. But that's how I feel about the situation. Vote. Run. Aku. 
good decision. And one of us says he already said why on it. And Fridge Makra says you must fight with the power of real human beings. I don't have any. If I had I don't even know what those are. What the hell are you talking about? Edit there now. Nonetheless, welcome to the stream. Oh shit! Oh fuck face, what the hell are you doing? No! Okay, everybody's gonna die now. See what you've done. See what you did. You fucked things up. You fucked everything and everyone up. Oh, you whore. And that thing is gonna explode if you don't get out of there. God damn you. Well, all my rookies are gonna be... Oh no. I was doing so well. Oh, at least it did a lot of damage. I killed the stone lancer and you got a promotion. Well, fuck! It's time to get to, it's time to get crazy. It's an advanced trooper and this is an advanced officer. Try the trooper. There's a chance you kill him in one shot. Hey, you did it! Yes, enemigo eliminado. Uh, no, God fucking damn it, no! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> everything's gonna. Oh fuck, everything's crumbling already. My plans, they don't work anymore. My soldiers are dying, my plan is crumbling, my. My life is over. <laughs> God damn it. Voy a la ubicación designada. Fernando Diaz, move in. Shoot him. No, don't open holes in the wall. The, the people outside are gonna see you guys. God oh, damn. Krishna Rao. Position confirmed. You're gonna have to kill that guy. No, for fuck's sake, stop blowing holes in the wall. What the hell you're doing? No. Shit. Oh my god. Everybody's gonna die. Super. So we, we knew since the very beginning that this was a suicide mission, but dog damn. <laughs> uh, it just got so much worse. Whoa, we can use the, your, your aid protocol all the way back there? Dog damn, that's cool. Yeah, go robot, do the thing. Uh, Oni, it said that you're shook, he you killed your husband. I mean, what? Your sub husband, Wallace. Uh. And one of us says that I said that it's because I'm evil. I know you said you know, but why he's so mean? And Frigio Micro says rookies have phenomenal cosmic power. Do they really? They just have itty bitty aiming ability. Oh. Right you are about that. And Double will have game gamer says Cobra wins. Pretty Micro says, look, you even have a Templar. <laughs> Who's all the way on the other side of the Oh. Game fucking over man. Game over. What? Only no, you don't don't cheer against me, cheer for me. And Oni says Doug has turned from good boy to fucked up boy by killing everyone. Oh boy. How awesome is it? Oh boy. That they have run just. The King Cro Cobra is. Precisely where. It is flanking the position my soldier needs to be. Krishna Rao. Oh fuck. You have the good armor though. I don't wanna send you there. Mmm. Mm.
Everything going downhill and looking really, really bad. Fridge Micro, you said also that and they can kill anything with the power of commanderism. Oh, you said Doug has... Oh yeah, I read that. Read that. Um, time to fight blindly like men. 007 says resting pepperoni. You had a plan. Uh, yes, sneaking around was a plan. It isn't anymore. Now I'm, f <laughs> now I'm free ra freestyle rapping. Like, whatever goes, goes. And if someone makes it out alive. Dog damn it. Alright, Eduardo, you go back there. Since you fucked everything up anyway. I mean, you didn't. Krishna did. Fuck Krishna. And go into Overwatch. What else can you do? Overwatch away into victory. That does work every now and then. Krishna Rao, I can sacrifice you to complete the objective and then I can try and run the fuck away and you know the power of running is good because by running away like the huge scrub that I am I'll be able to save all my soldiers but completing the objective is also you know an interesting idea This it allows me to, you know, do great things with my life. I know what? Feck it. Go. Rocket launcher. Up. Stay alert for rapid movement as it attempts to reposition itself. The officer took care of it. Oh, seriously? Oh, no. I mean to say that whenever I take action against it, it retaliates on the same turn. And that's why we need armor. Huh. Good to know. Good to fucking know. Oh, there you go. Enemigos pacificados. Necesito un poco de munición. Boy, Krishna is gonna die. He's not even gonna die peacefully, he's gonna die agonizing. God damn it. As you direct. Krishna Rao, your mm, Your situation is poor at best. Lo que tú digas. Eduardo Diaz, what can you do? Um, Fernando Diaz. You can either shoot the King Cobra or you can go and trigger the button. That's what we all need doing right now. It's triggering the free flipping button. Oh, nice! This Rookie soldiers are doing some delicious criticals. Oh, why don't you go fucking suck a dick then? Just choke and choked. Oh, King Cobra. Why must you be so delicious? And now it's Krishna Rouse's turn. I guess I'm gonna end my turn because he can't do anything. Are they still patrolling? Fuck! They saw Volt. Oh. They were patrolling for a while. Man! Things have just gone horribly wrong. Heavy Lancer, that is a new enemy. Fernando Diaz. Shit. Ah. Eduardo Diaz, rather. Right the concentrated 
breath of that creature is reading at incredibly low temperatures. I'm way ahead of you, you on that, Ducko, my dog. You are severe tissue damage if exposed. Good to know, Doctor. Ah, my fucking dog. This fucking game. Oh, let's let's read some comments. I can't even. Ah. Free Jumakero said he had a plan that was to sneak around like tiny baby man. Naka says you're stressing way too much here, dear. Tiger says, plant an X4 and run. I should have done that. I should totally have done that. Fridge Macro says, look, just commit genocide on the filthy channels with the power of the great command you won. Oni says, I don't know, man. Everything going downhill and looking really, really, really bad. 007 Gamer says, I mean, it's still a, pa a plan, just not one you can execute. Ralphie, welcome back to the stream. How are you doing? He said, wait till he realize the Cobra can move once every... Move you make? Oh, I did. I did. It was not fun. I had a blast with it. <sighs> Fridge Micro says, "Who needs plans? Plans are for filthy channels and rookies." And Double Seven says, "Behold, the power that is covered isn't." And Fridge says, "Alien ruler BS powers." Hell yeah. Uh, Fritz said, "Shoot that snake!" I mm, that doesn't that doesn't uh, does not do anything. Shoot the snake as fast as you can. All he says, "Don't step on the snake." Fritz just says, "Step on the snake so hard you crush like bugs snake snake's wreck." If only that could, if only that would happen. Nick, you said, "Is there like healers on this game or something?" I don't know. I don't think there is. I mean, there is the specialist battle medics, but they're not necessarily. You know, there's still soldiers, but there are also healers, and their healing powers are very limited. So that kind of sucks a little bit. And I do have a specialist, Eduardo Diaz, but he's a combat specialist, not a medic specialist. Freed says Krishna got wrecked. Everybody got wrecked. He got snacked. And only says you're ahead of, of you on that, Doug. Bones. Thanks for the salt, Bones. And Bones said we need more quotes. Well, you guys are the ones who are gonna go and add quotes. I'm the one who's gonna keep saying shit. Okay, what can you do, Eduardo Diaz? With your delicious moving powers. Oh, you can go over there. How about that? Snack man or girl? Snack thing. Okay, from over there, whence you are, you can use your combat protocol to do two points of damage. A tiny weenie damage. So, killing the Cobra, the King Cobra, is a sound move. But it's not one I can do. Everybody I have who can do anything against the Cobra is incredibly far away. I'm talking about you, Vault. Oh my... Ah. Well, <laughs> well. Okay, Volt. Quick. Sacrifice yourself for the for the good of XCOM. Fernando Diaz is still frozen. Eduardo Diaz is still bound. Volt is a useless piece of shit. We can maybe go and do something, maybe. Yay, do some psionic damage. But guess what? It's gonna do some, some bullshit again now. It's some sort of psionic rift. 
I cannot begin to fathom why Dr. Volland would have allowed it to have this ability. He's trying to make a break for it. Take it out before it gets away. Oh no, please do go away. Fuck. Go away as hell. Do you even think you can? I, 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 I can't. I can kill this thing. It's not possible. Oh yes. <laughs> oh, that happened. <laughs> Man, shit. All right, Eduardo Diaz. You can still get. Who, who the fuck is this? Is this a? Is this a dead body or is this an, an unconscious soldier? I think it's an unconscious soldier. Carry them away. Oh yes, it has the good armor. We we have to retrieve the armor. I don't even care about who that person is, but we need the armor. Vamos, vamos, vamos. So Volt, you're gonna plant the explosive and go. You're gonna get the fuck out of there. I wonder though if. You have to also... Oh, look at that. The aliens are coming closer. We're on the flank. Eh. The elders will sue me. Oh, Stone Lancer, no you don't... Oh, Stone Lancer, you piece of shit. If you had knocked him down, oh, I would have. Mm. Would have got so miffed. Okay, plant the X4 and get the fuck out of there. Oh, nice. The bomb has the XCOM logo for me. And you can extract a body with you. It's a dead body for sure, but you can extract it. Maybe it has loot. All right, now we can call the Sky Ranger. Where will we call it? Maybe here. That sounds like a nice place. Feedback, you go there. Volt, you cannot go there this turn. Fernando Diaz, you can. Volt, what you can do is come here. Oh no. Well, you will be, you know, op in the open. But maybe I can use a bug that the first game had to make things work out. Nah, I can't do this bug anymore. The bug is that even if a character had no more actions left over, you could still close and open doors. They fixed that. Uh, sure, extract. Get the fuck out of there. Vote, so long as you don't die in this turn, you... You're it. Next, ho next turn, you and that body <laughs> are home free. Overwatch. Maybe I can move one square without triggering its Overwatch. Oh, they got a reinforcement coming out. Oh, no Overwatch, no Overwatch, no Overwatch. Please, no Overwatch. Please, no Overwatch. Please, no Overwatch. Well. Oh, nice. He missed. This is a dead corpse, I don't know why I'm bringing it home, but... I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This mission should not have succeeded. It should not have succeeded, I got away with so much bullshit. God damn. Operation Spider Killer. I killed three enemies, I have no idea of which. But hurry, I completed a mission. I would like to assure 
the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing. Bone says them all. Creature said wreck his neck. And always run your way like a tiny baby's neck. <laughs> kill it, kill it dead. Nah, it ran away. The little shit. And uh, Naku says, oh my, oh my, oh my god, and Fridge says, leapt. And Fridge also says, questioning this game and what counts as a win or loss. <laughs> oh, only you have no idea how right you are about that. Fridge also said that get to the roof, it was a rookie, so it has no loot. Call this car ranger to the roof where everyone can go to, never mind. <laughs> Oh, that, that place also worked. I forgot the roof was a thing. Until I had already summoned the Sky Ranger. Rain Shep says that's not a bug, as far as you know, that's a feature. On the first one, uh, on the first one it was a feature. The last of Colin's little experiment, Commander. Best stay on our toes, it could show up again at any time. On the first one it was a feature, yes. But it was kinda... It felt like an exploit because it was not something you knew you could do, and that if it always felt like you should not be able to do it, and you could make some crazy tactics, like you could use a character's every single turn to go to his double turn, to stand beside the door, position every character you have in a very nice Overwatch position, then go back to that character and open the door. Then he opens the door, reveals the aliens, everybody takes a shot because of Overwatch. You kill a lot of things, and then... And it was an awesome thing, but it felt it always felt like, kind of like cheating. But yeah, it, it, it's a feature. You're right about that. And Bone says, great success, spoils a dead guy. <laughs> and Tiger says, damn, what the heck. And Anatru says, I believed in you, Doug. Why, thank you, Anatru. And only, uh, you said anything else, Doug, you should memorialize as a quote. Maybe. Okay, so Rookie Diaz, I guess you killed someone, and you became a specialist. Just like the, your namesake, Eduardo Diaz. I have two, two specialist Diazes. Go figure. Rookie Rao, Krishna Rao, rather, you became a ranger. Have you killed anything? Apparently you have. And... What the hell is your name? Something semi-yova. Well, you died. Uh, your epitaph will say at least... Her... Body... Was... Brought back home. Too bad no one... Cared enough about it. Yes, memorialize. <laughs> Put that in the murals. This awesome propaganda for XCOM recruits. We will have them packing at our doors. And other than that, everybody's gravely wounded. But on the bright side, we would re we reduce the progress on the avatar project by one blip. Your troops performed admirably. Oh, two Commander. blips. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Okay, true. Reducing the avatar pro pro project progress by two is much better than one. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. Oh, you don't say central. HQ for new recruits. I don't even have supplies with which to hire people. How do you think? No. <laughs> well, we cleared this alien facility in Eastern Europe. We delayed a little bit the Avatar project and some fucking how. We are gonna make a second stand against the aliens. Because look at how close the Avatar project was done was was to being done. If we if we didn't complete this mission, this would be the last stream I would I was gonna be playing XCOM to because I would have lost this entire campaign.
So there's a new alien facility over there. There's another alien facility over here. Oh, there's two blips. That's how I know how many blips they removed from the Avatar project. Oh, two blips over there. How many is that? Six? Plus one, so that's not a big priority. As far as I can tell. Okay, where else? What else can I do with my life? Uh, all PCS effects are increased. I can go search the black market to be able to get supplies whenever. Or I can go and try to find more guerrilla ops to do. And level up my, my, my people. I have so much shit I need to do. God damn it. I guess I'm gonna go find out about the black market. Avenger plotting new course. <clears throat> Because I need a way to get supplies more, more steadily. Well, not necessarily steadily, but. will find our results have exceeded expectations. Yay! I'm on Topsy has done. <sighs> oh boy, that mission should not have succeeded after uh, after it started to fail, but somehow it did. And Oni says you want to be a PsyOps, clone you and your husband Doug. And one of four says give me an Oni clone, for purposes, also go to Sweden and buy stuff on IKEA. I don't think we have, they have IKEA anymore, they have probably the I find it unusual to say advent that furniture. The subject so often referred to in the past as the thin man has now been revealed to actually be a genetic derivative of this holy reptilian creature. I find it truly remarkable how adaptable some of the alien species is, is the genetics are to the constant tweaks, quote unquote. They're often subject to, in the case of the Viper, a species once once identified as an infiltration unit known as Tin Man. The aliens have made a conscious reduction in their effort to disguise its human form. It's its true form by making it instead of thin, making it a tick viper. Tick, as in T H I C C. Because dog them, they are tick. Without the introduction of extensive human genetic material, the viper reverts to purely reptilian form while apparently retaining the same intellect and combat aptitude. The viper's snake like form is in many ways similar to the legless reptiles we commonly encounter on Earth. The enhanced torso musculature allows for upright mobility, and the addition of two physically weak but capable arms allow for the handling of traditional weaponry. One of the many alien species our troops encounter in the field, I find the prospect of encountering an intelligent snake standing over two meters tall to be among the most disturbing. And now we can make battlefield medicine. Uh. Greatly improving coagulation and wound sight. So we can heal better, I guess. Illyrium is inspired. Now instead of over 11 days, we can do it in 9. What a breakthrough. What, what will it do? Mate takes some time by furthering our understanding of this material could greatly adv advance our own weapon and armor development progress. Ah, fuck it, do it. The science is eager to begin, Commander. A fanatical, if not wholly obsessed being, the chosen warlock is without question the most loyal of the Elder's children. In his I need supplies to get the Gremlin Mark II. The Warlock has made it clear that he will make us pay for our defiance of the Elders. In truth, I suspect prolonged exposure to exceedingly high amounts of psionic energy have long ago warped And that's a bad idea. What can I do for you, Commander? I think I have to make the battlefield medicine? Yes, I have to. God damn it. I have two Viper corpses, I don't have that. Somehow. I have 15 supplies. 50 supplies. There's so much I need that I don't have. The blue screen protocol, uh, it can disrupt and disable mechs. Hmm. Well, let's keep doing, do what you're doing and let's keep 
passing time in the world. And Oni says heck. And bigger heck. A regular says Oni help your lewdness has rubbed off on you. And double all seven gamers says is that like dick? The heck? I don't know. As I keep saying on a daily basis almost. I am not aware of the means at all. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Why thank you, Council? So they made four progress in the Avatar Planet when we put it back a little bit. Clone me Daddy Dunk. Make me extra thick for my husband to have two puppets. No. Oh shit! Diary Balador has planned a brutal crackdown on the resistance, permanently lowering XCOM income. And Colin Ray Deserik will try to sabotage the Avenger. On top of that, there will happen a minor breakthrough in the Avatar project. And Advent crackdowns on resistant recruitment, increasing the cost of recruits by 100% for a month. Oh no. And this. In seven weeks, one month and a half, there will be a new alien facility. So, for this month, I can stay, I can, I can just chill knowing that the Avatar project will not have a whole lot going on. This is gonna be a chill month. I don't even know what month this is, but it's gonna be a chill one. <clears throat> Increased facility construction speed. Infiltrate, that is good. Resistance contacts, that is good. Stay with me. Soldiers bleed out rather than die, that's also good. We don't have anything else, so that we'll have to go and do. Supply drop. All the way up there, because fuck. South Africa, apparently. <coughs> yep, Avatar Project. Yes. Oh no, my covered action completed. It reduced the, pro the progress in true. Oh my dog, things are looking up for the resistance. Now Marcus Piki and Ishen Rao have returned. Delicious. A new covered operation we have. Crew Reapers fabricate PCSs. Form soldier bound counter chosen activity. That's kind of good. But nah, let's not do that. Recruit skirmishers, recruit engineer, facility lead. What? What is this? Increase income or reduce the avatar project. So I need a soldier who is a major or plus to do this Hunt the Chosen Assassin mission. Once I do this mission, I will be able to infiltrate their facility, fact them up and possibly probably rescue uh, some of our soldiers which, who have been captured. I don't think this game shows where are your captured Soldiers, which kind of sucks. And also, we need uh, to do things. So, Raygarn, you're gonna go on this mission with uh, for the Reapers to try and recruit a new hero. And I will also, oh boy, there's a high moderate risk of ambush. Man, that's a... 
That mission sucks. Okay, Krishna, you go in that in that mission and negate the risk of injuries and wounds. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. And that should do it for now. For this other soldier, uh, Ishan Rao, you have been promoted. Other Ra Ishan Rao. Another specialist. What do you know? This game hates Rangers, apparently. Or maybe I don't know how to play Rangers because <laughs> every single Ranger I have dies. Maybe the fault is with me, after all. And yeah, don't think I can we see what we can to honor our fallen soldiers, Commander. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance to pay their respects. Greetings, citizens. It is I, your fearless Advent speaker. Today we mourn the loss of countless innocent alien oh nah, screw it. Today, XCOM and the resistance leveled one of the aliens' facilities. That so these are the deceased. That's pretty good news, huh? Go X For some reason, this doesn't have a date. It's quite Zack and Rookie Utzad Bunny. Uh, but yeah. I have lost a lot of soldiers. Some have not died, some have been captured. So their names are not here, so that gives me hope that I'll get them back eventually. But yeah, it does not show me where they are. Objectives. Build a shadow chamber. Oh, let's let's keep let's keep rotating the planet and discover the black market. Supply raid. The resistance has relayed the information concerning the advent supply line, which should disrupt their transport. A uh, show of force. Intel suggests a large number of Advent troopers present under Advent only leadership. What does that mean? And. Oni, you said you're hella jealous of Tiger getting ab <laughs> abducted. And 007 says captured in this game might as well, might as well be dead. And Neku says, what? You did lost a lot of soldiers? Really? Never noticed. Oni says he did. He just tells us to mabuzel us. And 007 says, getting down with the thickness. And Tiger says, looked, uh, looked it up, capture soldiers, recovery, cover missions are random in the uh, when they appear. Yeah, it does seem to be like every month the cover actions to, uh, they, 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 they change. So this is not your month again, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe next month we will get it going. Uh, Advent is movie available alien technology across South Africa. If we strike quickly, we can recover the alien tech for our own purposes. Even though there's a shit, shit a ton of Advent soldiers there. Setting course for South Africa. But you know, we always need more alloys, delirium, intel supplies, all the crazy shit. Oh, look at our ensemble of of gremlins. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy, it's a very difficult raid on top of that. Boy oh boy. Alright. Who can we send? Everybody who is more or less high level is already on the mission. Let's also send a Corporal Nathan Smith. Tiger, you are a, you are a medic, aren't you? I mean, it's two. You are a medic. How can I? Yep. Let me do that. Let me do this. Uh, make armor available because I think some of you don't need it. 
markers, you can use your delicious. Wait, what? What the hell? There's somebody. Oh. Specialist steers, you have the spider suit. It should be on the sniper. They're the ones who need to get up high. Oh, who the hell has the exosuit? Someone here has the exosuit. Or did I lose it? I don't I, I don't think I don't think I lost it. Could I have lost the, the, the exosuit? What the hell? Huh. I think I lost it. Somehow. Well, shit. Or maybe it's on a soldier who's injured or what, and because they are injured and the and the suit is you know stapled on their nipples, I can't remove it while they're injured. I have to wait for them to get better before I can remove their armor. So fuck it, let's go. And then he says, knowing Doug, Tiger, he's gonna mess up the cover mission and get you shot. Menace, to I'm not. And then he says, you wanna be alive and shoot people in the face, but you won't allow that character to live again and have a second chance at life. Eh. And 007 Game is just pretty sure there's a make armor available button that would unequip it off someone if they weren't in your current squad. Yeah, but I think that there's some conditions, like... If they have been sent on cover actions, or they have been, or they are... Oh, nice. XCOM. Why would you go and crash in such a decisive moment in our alien slaying career? Weirdly enough, I found this game to be very susceptible to crashes. Go figure. Anyway, let, let's try opening it up again. God damn it, XCOM. And Tiger says, Doug, there are buttons at the bottom which will remove items from soldiers not on the team. Yes, I know. But they were not working. Weirdly enough. And wow. He crashed in that manner that makes the thing crash so very hard that even my streaming streaming software crashes too. God damn this game. This whole world of things that don't work pretty well. Shit. So um I will do the following. I will be um uh, I will stop the stream real quick and I'll be back in a in less than a minute, because I have to fix something up here. So just a second everybody, and I'll be right back. Right, 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 right back, right.